Death is believed by Christians to be a transformation into everlasting glory. This belief was what strengthened the family and friends as they interred the remains of late Mr. Jude Anthony Onufo, who rests in his home at Ndiaku Otolo Newi North Local Government Area amidst tears, but in total submission to the will of God. The burial mass which took place at St. Clair's Catholic Church Otolo Newi was presided over by the Catholic Bishop of Newi Diocese, Most Reverend Jonas Benson Okoye. We have details. In a homely on the topic Consolation of Hope, Reverend Father Pasco Onwubwenu of the Catholic Archdiocese of Onitsha described Mr. Onuho as a humble man with a mindset of making a positive impact on the society and winning souls for God. We are here because we still have hope that truth have lost. We have hope that good sins have been dead for. We have hope that truth have been purchased at the price. The price is so precious that cannot be replicated. Eulogizing the memories of the deceased, the immediate younger brother, Justice O.K. Onunwa of Nigerian Court of Appeal, said his brother was a man with many virtues who carried all his siblings along in whatever he did. My brother is a combination of so many virtues. Chief among which is humility. He was a very humble, hardworking man, generally self-effacing. He cared so much for people. No matter who they are, his level of empathy was legendary. The first son and the first daughter of the disease, Mr. Michael Onunwo and Miss Obianuju Onunwo, said their father was a disciplinarian and God-fearing man who always sought the will of God in everything. My dad was a great man. He helped so many people secretly. He doesn't. He doesn't. If he helps you, he doesn't like what they call all this show of. He's very anyway. He's he's humble. He doesn't. Like I showed her up, and he's contented with what he have. The little he has, he's contented with it. What I miss more is about his um, spiritual life and his prayers and discipline he instilled in us. Many dignitaries attended the burial ceremony, including the chief medical director, Chukwu Emeka Odumegwojuku University Teaching Hospital, Amak Walker, Dr. Joe Akabike, managing director, Anambra Broadcasting Service, Sachido Obidiegu, alumni of Federal Government College, Umwahia, and Dennis Memorial Grammar School, Onicha, friends, relatives, and well wishers. Let Mr. Jude Anthony Onunfo, who died at the age of 63, was survived by his mother, brothers, sisters, and children.